Hi everybody, welcome to this week's weekly highlights. Now I know I always say I'm going to try to do a shorter video this week, but this week I really am because I don't have very much to show you. Um, I've been melting a lot of Yankee fall tarts uh, because that's what I mostly have. And um, I do plan on placing a couple of small orders with um, candles from the keeping room and probably Kim's. One other one. I haven't decided if it's going to be Kim's or not. But um, yeah, so I plan on placing a couple of small orders for some fall tarts soon, but um, I haven't done so yet. So I've been mostly melting my Yankee fall tarts since I have quite a few of those and of course my Better Homes and Gardens wax cubes uh, that I have been just recently getting into. So I only put out a couple of candles just to kind of give a couple of candles to talk about. Uh, the first one is Leaves. I love this. This is my favorite from um, Bath and Body Works and it's just a really delightful, delicious candle. Um, I don't know it's not really supposed to smell like leaves, like autumn leaves, I don't think. I mean, it's mostly a spicy um, apple and berry and um, golden nectar, it says. So there's, I mean, there's quite a few things going on in there. I don't really get much of a woodsy note, but that's okay. There's, um, it's just a wonderful spice scent that really evokes the feeling of fall so I just love this fragrance it's super strong and I've been kind of um, pacing myself with it because you know they burn pretty fast and I just have this one now I may end up if another two for twenty comes up I may try to stock up on a few more slacking but uh, for right now I'm really trying to um, not spend any money so we'll see how that goes you know how that goes sometimes we intend not to spend any money and then a really great deal comes along and before we know it we've bought stuff we didn't intend to buy but um, we'll see so the other candle I'm enjoying spiced pumpkin love this scent I'm in love with uh, this pumpkin scent I think it's my favorite um, used to be pumpkin pie now I do believe spiced pumpkin is my very very favorite um, pumpkin scent it's just so nice the mix of spice um, brown sugar clove cinnamon mixed with the pumpkin is just perfect and then tonight <laughs> I did pick up um, this scent in spiced apple and clove from Walmart and yes I did go to Walmart specifically to find say I went to a different Walmart to find uh, hopefully more fall scents that my Walmart didn't have um, and they didn't have much of a selection at this particular Walmart and their aisle was a mess I mean these were just like strewn about just all over the place it was terrible so I dug through and uh, managed to find this spiced apple and clove and it's the only one that I saw in the only um, wax cube pack that I bought but this is amazing I have it in the warmer now and it is very good very very strong very spicy so you really gotta like a spicy spicy apple scent um, it's got a lot of clove in it so I really like it although it does remind me a little bit of Christmas maybe it's because it's so heavy on the clove but I could really see burning this with like my pine scents um, to mix uh, to really create a um, really festive Christmassy smell but I do like it it's very nice with the spice pumpkin going right now so and then the only other tarts that I have to talk about this week um, I'm melting in my other warmer in the bedroom you can't really see but it's called Fall Mystery from Scarborough Lane I don't know if you can see that but um, <clears throat> so there's really no mystery about this scent it's a bakery scent that's what it is um, and it smells really good and I get a little cinnamon a little bit of spice and I think this was sent in maybe a round robin box I picked it out of a round robin box or some package 
because I never order from Scarborough Lane. But um, I am enjoying this scent. It's very strong. or Well, I say very strong. It's strong enough. Um, it's actually creeping down the hall from the bedroom. And I can kind of smell it in the living room, even though my spiced apple and clove is really strong in here too. So, But it's all blending very, very nicely. It smells amazing. And then fried apples. This one was from Krabby Candle Company. And um, this one smelled really good. It's uh, just kind of a spicy apple scent. Um, I don't know that it, it really smells bakery, um, but uh, I really liked it. And then I tried another from Primitive Country, and this one is Amish Friendship Bread. Now the first time, this is one of the other ones that I melted before I let them cure and I didn't smell it. So I um, let this sit again and then melted the other half and this one really had a nice throw. Um, it, it filled up my bedroom nicely. Um, I will say that it's not, this, this particular Amish Friendship Bread is not very distinctive as far as um, other ones that I melted. You can really smell kind of the um, raisin and kind of a, um, a spice in there and this one just smelled kind of a little bit generic bakery but it, it smelled really good and it had a good throw um, but it wasn't as distinctive as other Amish friendship breads that I've tried but I did like it and I and I'm telling you letting them sit really really helped so definitely if you order from primitive primitive country let them sit for a while after you get them then I tried candleberry or I'm sorry, buttercream snickerdoodle from Candleberry. Um, this one was super strong. However, the fragrance was not um, not my favorite. It smelled uh, very similar to popcorn to me. Um, I got a really buttery popcorn note to it, and um, so I don't know. Maybe my sniffer was off that night, but that's what I smelled. And so I didn't love it, but it was very strong. All these candleberry, I'm sorry, sometimes I find myself yawning while I'm doing these videos. So <laughs> I know if I'm bored, you guys are getting bored. So I'm gonna wrap this up pretty quick. Um, all of the ones from candleberry that I've tried have been really strong. That's, I'm really impressed with the thrill on those. And then finally dried apple wreath from Sniff My Tarts. I really like this scent. Um, it's a really nice apple scent, but it's not very spicy. So if you don't like a real spicy apple scent, um, this one might be for you. And uh, maybe in the background there's a little hint of like a woodsy note, but um, it's mostly apple. Maybe a little spice, but not overpowering at all. So um, I actually really like it. And I have a whole nother pack of it um, for four pack in this set so I'm happy that I have more of it so anyways that is my weekly highlights for the week um, like I said I didn't want to bore you with a bunch of Yankee tarts that you've all seen before so I try to keep it short and sweet and I will see you all next week hopefully with uh, some new stuff to talk about so talk to you later bye